in Hatras, a small West UP village, caste discrimination is an everyday reality. We are standing at that very cremation ground where the 19-year-old Dalit girl was burned in the dead of the night by the UP police without her family's approval. Oh, yeah. This cremation ground here is a symbol... Oh yeah, I remember we covered this as news on Atheist Republic. ...of caste discrimination practiced in this village even today. So what happened? Is do what is this? Th thong, thakrus and pandits come to this cremation ground. Do you all have separate cremation ground? Guys, basically they're doing different dead people, so they're separating them even not just in life, but even in death. Do you, they're asking the? I think these are dalits. They're asking them, do you all have separate? Cremation ground for Dalits and what is this one? Is this another cast? Thakru, Thak, Thakurs? There are separate cremation grounds for us. Thakurs, Thakurs. Guys, what the hell is a Thakur? Somebody in the live chat. The Dalits. Okay, so this guy is saying, they're Dalit. Their Dalit gods are different than our Thakurs. So Thakurs is like a like another caste. Their gods are different? Oh, we got a super chat. Yay! Ex-Muslim Uzbek saying, Hi, Armin. Please keep uh, the good fight on for all of us. By the way, I bought your book recently and recommend to everyone for a good read. But, uh, oh, thank you, guys. This is the book he's referring to that I wrote, Why There Is No God. Uh, check it out. Guys! We did a new thing. If you subscribe to our newsletter, the first welcome email that you get, you get a free PDF copy of Why There Is No God. Okay, but buy it if you can if you want to support us though. Like even though you can get a free P PDF copy by subscribing to our newsletter, link in the description. Um, but here, let me continue. Did anybody tell me what the whole this? Um, Thank you so much for the $5 super chat, by the way, Uzbek Exposed on that's very nice. Oh, here, somebody's saying it. Thakurs are upper caste, the suppressor, the Brahmins. Okay, okay. Untouchability in water and weddings. Why water? Okay, this guy is saying they are Dalits, they belong to an inferior caste, okay? Who is this guy? This guy's a lawyer! What the hell? This dude is a lawyer! Wait, is he describing the situation or is that his own opinion? God damn! God damn, this guy's a lawyer and he has these views. We do not marry into their community, into the Dalit community. Jesus, man, chill a little bit. God damn it, man. What the hell is with this outright bigotry? <laughs> they come to eat at our house, but they sit separately. Wow, how kind of you for, for, for letting them at least come to your house. They treat them like dogs. God damn. We don't go to eat at their houses. Why? Because they are from scheduled, a scheduled caste. We consider them inferior. God damn, man. Why though? Why? Why do you consider them inferior? Wait, what did happen? What did she say? Hold on. But they are human beings after all. Oh, so the reporter is asking him, like, dude, like, what the hell? What's wrong with you? They're human beings after all, question mark. You, yes, you are correct in saying that. Okay, so what's your objection? Know that they're human beings. But will you get married to a Dalit, question mark? Um, no reasons given. Did you notice that? There was no reasons given. He's just like, yeah, they're humans, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is up with this, guys? This is disgusting. Your religion is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Your religion is gross.
Valmiki. Oh wait, they're Valmi, they're Valmiki, Valmikis, and we are the Coors. Why? Okay. Why are there so many names for these cats? I thought it was just Dalit and Brahmas. Now we're talking about Valmikis and the Coors. I'm talking. Hmm. Wait, wait, we missed something. Somebody is saying in the live chat, um, Armen Dalits are the most oppressed groups on the planet, planet on Earth. Okay, I need citation for that. I can't, like, yeah. Are they? Uh, this guy is saying, Armin, Armin, so are you surprised by a lawyer saying that? Just Google. Okay. I'm not going to say that, but okay. Um, maybe somebody uh, post that. We have a Discord server. If you want me to review other videos, go to our Discord server. Link in the description. Go to the channel called Video Recommendations and post me post that video. Maybe I'll review it here on uh, Atheist Republic. That's how you give me recommendation, guy. That's what we. Ha that's why we have a Discord server. Um, okay, guy. These people. I. God damn it! Look at these big. These biggest. God damn. We can give them, but how can we take anything from them? Hmm. We don't have too many interactions. So I think the reason, I think the guys, correct me if I'm wrong. The reason why you could give them food and stuff, but you can't take them stuff from them, is because you consider them like they consider them to be dirty, right? So if you give them food, they're like whatever dirtiness they have, it's not going to come to you, right? But if you Take food from them, then that's like you, like, like, a, like it's from a Dalit. Like that's that's what that's is that how they think? Is that why they can give them food but not take from them? They take from them for them, take food. Well, I can't speak. Take food from them. Oh, here, this person is now telling me why those other names are there, right? So there are a lot of different cast names for each cast, for from region to region. Valmikis are one of the several Dalit names in northern India. Wow, great. Why is it, okay, this video is not doing a good job at explaining that. If you mention that, this video needs to like explain it. You just can't assume that we would know that. Okay. The yeah, Katie is saying because property of Dalits are considered to be impure and polluted, so they can't take take from them jesus man this is so disgusting this is so disgusting you guys are oh my god this is a problem if we ever refuse to go to work in the cool houses or fields oh my god what will happen okay so this lady's name is sabina and she's a laborer belongs to adult community so she's saying if you refuse to go to work in the houses they threaten us of stopping access to their fields. Um, wait, that's slavery. Isn't that slavery? If we refuse to work, then they cut access to vital, our food supply. Um, that is slavery. Isn't that slavery? Wait, that's slavery. Okay. A quiet, quiet? Quite Renaissance is saying water probably refers to the fact that Dalits are not permitted to use the same water wells as upper caste in the village. Yeah, okay, so that would make sense, but then that segment that started with that title didn't mention that right after, so the title was a bad title. Okay, Katie, you're like too many comments. Like, I want to highlight your comments, but I can't. If I highlight all of your comments, then I would never be able to finish this video. So, you need to like really be picky about w which comments you want to post. Yeah, we need to get to the, yeah, they need to go to the field, and they're not gonna they're gonna cut access to the field if they don't work. So, yeah, that's slavery. Oh, f and for defec for our cattle and for defecation, Jesus. So they're gonna cut access to like basic needs to them if they don't do their work. <laughs> do Thakurs allow um, Dallas to the village temples? Okay, freedom of religion and all that. So do these Brahmins, do they the upper caste people, do they allow the lower the outcasts to go to the village temple?
Yeah, they come here and pray from uh, from outside. Okay, so they have access. Okay, so who is this guy? This is like an upper caste guy. By the way, the orange thing is like telling, I think. I'm not sure. But this is a farmer, and he belongs to an upper caste. And he's like, yeah, sure, they can come to the temple. They can pray outside. No, no, no. Where are they allowed in the temple? Like, she, this lady, this wife, like, shut the hell up. <laughs> so your wife is like, shut up, man. Like, like, the, like, hey, so the lady knows this wife is like, no, they're not allowed in the temples. What are you talking about? They're, they're outcasts. They themselves don't enter the temple. Oh, he's like, okay, he's like, it's not like we're stopping them to go in the temple. They just know their place. <laughs> like, they themselves don't enter the temple, yeah? Because they've been trained well to know that they can't enter the temple. So she's like, okay, so this guy was like trying to be like accepting and like, yeah, sure, they can come to the temple, pray outside <laughs> but not and she's like what are you doing she asked if they can come can if they can come the, so the wife said the lady i don't know if it's a wife she said what are you talking about the lady the reporter asked you if they could come inside the temple and you just said yes and they can't come inside so he's like ad now correcting himself and he's saying okay fine but they don't come we're not they they just know not to come inside the temple like it's not we're not stopping them so just they just understand how to behave, that's what he say. They themselves don't enter the temple. What, okay, where, where is the question? The question was, why do they not go? So she, the report, this lady is asking good questions. So she's saying, why do they not go inside the temple? By the way, this is like a tiny village. I've seen villages like this a lot. Okay, so this is really good. Like, if you want to get like an understanding of how things are out of a city, you just go to this village and you just ask questions. Guys, if you're in India, go to villages like this and ask uh, questions and send me the video, and then we, I review your videos. How about this, guys? We should do. We should set up something like this, right? We could have like y you guys could go and ask questions from people and get their reactions. And send us the video like your own on you could be like atheist republic journalist right should we set up something like that what do you guys think so i like stuff like this so we could be like atheist republic agents set us you know from the reports from the ground should we do something like that i think that would be great okay so what so this is a good question so she's asking great questions so like why do they not go see how how she's not like imposing her own beliefs she's just asking questions this is a this lady whoever she is is doing a really good job so what do you think the answer is going to be it's going to be like yeah. how will we know they would know oh so this guy's like they just know they're dalits they know why they're not supposed to go into the temple people are saying yeah that sounds cool so where should we upload all of that we should like somebody. We we should set up a place where people could upload their their videos uh, for us. Oh, actually, here's the thing. You could use this as a way to promote your own YouTube channel, so you could get encouraged. Okay, so you don't even have to send us a video. You could just make a YouTube channel, upload it on your YouTube channel, and then go to our Discord server link in the description, and um, I will. Pr that way, I could promote your YouTube channel as well. And be like, hey, I went to India and I did, like, I, I'm in India and I went and did some, to a temple and I asked the priest these questions and here's my report and maybe I'll review it here on Atheist Republic and I'll do a shout out to your YouTube channel, okay? So that's how you do it, okay? So you do, we don't even need to worry about uploading it somewhere because you upload it on your own YouTube channel, okay? So let's do that. Um, wow, we got a new member! Guys, if you're a member, I'm going to be able to notice your comments a lot better, okay? Thank you so much. Quiet, quiet renaissance or quiet renaissance? Quiet renaissance. Am I reading your name right? Thank you so much, a new member. Yay. Okay. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. It's really, it's really helpful. So this guy is saying, I don't know. I don't know why they don't go into the temple. This lady, you answer. You seem to know more. <laughs> if they ever... Wow, this lady is so asking the best questions. So like he's saying like, they just don't go into the temple. Okay. They just stay, pray outside. So now she's asking... Okay, fine. They don't go themselves. But if they do try to enter, will you guys stop them? Hmm. 
what do you think the answer is going to be? I think this guy is going to say, the, the, guy, the man might say no, and then the, this lady might say, she seems to be like, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to say. Oh, good. by the way, Katie saying it's quite a risky job. To be honest, journalists these days are not the safest people. Okay, guys, do not do it if there's any risk associated with it. Okay, only do it if you could do it safely or just don't do it at all if you're even not sure. Okay, so what do you guys think the answer is going to be? If they ever try to enter, will you stop them? He's going to say no. The man is going to say no. The lady will object. That's my guess. No, no, no. Why will we stop them? Okay. My guess was right for the man. There is a common temple near the village. Where people from all communities from different villages go to Where are the Dalits allowed in the temple? Yes, even Dalits are allowed in that temple. Okay, so, so this lady... <laughs> okay, so it wasn't the lady that I thought didn't object. There's another lady behind the camera that all of a sudden objected. He's like, what are you talking about? Dalits are not, <laughs> Dalits are not allowed in the temple. So, <laughs> okay, so it wasn't... I kind of... I, I guess it's kind of right. I knew that he's, I knew that he's going to say yes, they're allowed. And I kind of knew that there's going to be an objection to it by somebody here. But I thought it's going to be this lady in red. But it was another lady in green. The green lady. Hold on. <laughs> yes, even Dalits are allowed in that temple. <laughs> you don't know this man. Okay, wait. Where was the first thing that she said? Where are the Dalits allowed in that temple? <laughs> okay, so that's what that lady is saying. So she objected. Like, what are you talking about? They're not allowed in that temple. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. And she's like, you, so she's saying you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you're like, you're, uh, you're talking out of your, you know what? Like, they're not allowed in the temple. They're Dalits. <laughs> this is what happens, by the way, when any every time you deal with Hinduism or India, um, you're going to get a whole bunch of people telling you completely different things, everybody. And everybody's like, oh, these people don't know what they're talking about. I know what Hinduism is about. I know what India, what situation is like in India. Like, you get like a million different answers.